channel and hope you are all doing good in today's tutorial i will be showing you how to draft presets that post here if you are new to my channel you are welcome don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell for you to be notified when there is a new video and for those that have already subscribed i really appreciate you thank you so much For you to know how to draft your pieces that bust your pattern you have to leave flowers here so i let one in this year then the next thing for you to do is to measure your vertical measurement so we are going to take the measurement of the boss then your under boss waist then the last is hip now before we take the vertical measurement if you want to know how much fabric that you are going to need you are going to measure your hip so after measuring your hip whatever your hip is then you will add four inches or five inches to it for instance if your hip is 40 you will divide 40 by 4 so 40 divided by 4 is 10 then you will add four between four to five to it so that would be 14 or 15. here you can see my paper that is here is 14.5 inches so that's how you are going to know how much fabric that you need for your sewing now we are going to measure the vertical line so first we are going to measure our boss so the boss we will be using is 10 inches so 10 inches will be here you mark your 10 inches here 10 inches and you make a straight line The next measurement is under boss. So under boss is 13 inches. You still place your tape measurement here. Place it under the starting point. So 13 inches for under boss. So you are going to make a straight line as well. So that's now we are going to measure the waist. The waist is 17. So the next thing is to measure the hip. The hip is 24 inches. And I'll leave two inches for hemming allowance. So the length of the paper is 26 altogether. So this will be for the hemming. Now let me move it. So this is the bust. Bust. Under bust. Under bust. So this is the waist. And this is the hip. And the last one is the hemming. 
Now I'm going to measure the shoulder. I'll be working with 16 inches. But because we are folding the paper pattern into two, so I'll divide 16 by two. So that will be eight. Then I will add half an inch to it. So that will be eight and a half. So that's the length of the shoulder that we're going to use. Eight and a half inches. So after that, I'll bring my tape measure here. Then I will measure one inches here. So the one inches will be here. Then I will go straight to my neck. So my neck width will be three and a half. So I'll be using the neck depth of four inches. So I'll connect the neck width and the neck depth together. This is it three and a half and four inches. I'll connect the one inches here with three and a half inches. So this will be for the, the shoulder slant. Now from the shoulder slant I've marked here, I will mark my arm hole area. You can say chest. So I will mark eight inches for the chest or arm hole. Eight inches. Then I will make a straight line from the slope line. Then I will connect it together. Let me make a straight line here. For me to get the half length of this by folding your tape this way so that you can get the half. So this is my half. That's four. So this is four. I would take one each in here. I will mark one inch here and I will make a slant line on the one inch. This will join the slope here. Now, for me to get this now, I will take my measurement, I will put it here on my chest line. So I will measure my bust line. I will be working with 38. So 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. Here is my 9.5 and I will connect it from here to the 9.5 I've marked here. So I'm going to measure line that is here. So is nine and a half. Nine and a half divided by two is 4.75. So my 4.75 is here. So this will be the midpoint of it. So from the midpoint of it, I'll bring it down here. Then I'll measure one up here. One inch. Then I'll measure one inch down. So I have to draw a line here. Draw a line here. Draw a line here. Remember this is the midpoint. I draw another one here. Now we want to measure the bus pan now. So we will be working with the bus pan of four inches plus half an inch. So that will be four point five. The pulse pan we are using is eight inches. So when you divide D by two, it will give you four. So you have 7.5 to you that will give you 4.5 so you are going to mark 4.5 all through 
sold from five from market to a hip area. So then we make it a straight line. Make a straight line. Now, now you will come to the boss here. You measure one inches up, four inches up here. Then you measure four inches down. So up and down one inches. Now you are going to connect the one inch that you've marked here. On the bus, you are going to connect it with this line. So you go to other bus, you will mark one inch. You mark one one inch on both sides. One inch on both side. So you go to waist one inch on both side. Then you go to hip area and mark one inch as well on both sides. The next thing right now is to connect the one inch here. Remember I measure one inch up here, one inch down. So you are going to connect the one inch here with underboss line. Then you do the same. Then you connect it to, to the waistline. Then you do the same on the other side. Connect it on the other side as well. Then you connect it, you connect the waistline to the hip line as well. Now, we are going to measure the horizontal line now. So, under balls is 35. The next thing, <coughs> the next thing to do right now is to extend this line to make a new armhole. Remember, we had one one inch here, one inch here. So the two inch here now, I'm going to extend it up here. The reason is because by the time we cut half this area, our fabric will be short. So we won't have enough fabric to join it. So that's why we are creating a new ham hole here. So you mark the two inches here. So the two inches will be here. Then you will do the same thing here. This is two inches here. So you will bring the two inches here as well. Then you are going to add another two inches here from where it stops here so that you can extend the line. So you make a straight line on the two inches, two inches here. These are two inches. Now we make our new ham hole. The next thing right now is to measure the horizontal line. So remember we've marked the bus area here. So we go to under bus right now. So the under bus we will be using is 35, 35 divided by 4 is 8.75. So this is 8.75 here. I'm going to add the 2 inches here. That is 1 inch on both sides. So we are going to add it to it. So we are going to add two inches this is it 
then we go to the waist so the waist we are working with is 38 so 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 9.5 inches 9.5 inches so we are going to add the one one inches here as well so that will be two inches here now we go to the hip so the hip area we are working with 40 so 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches is 10 inches then we are going to add the one inch on both one inch on both sides as well so that will be 12 inches now so this is 12 inches here so now we go back from here we are going to add sewing allowance of two inches here Two inches sewing allowance. Then we had two inches sewing allowance as well. You can add one and a half inches if you want. Then you add sewing allowance here as well. Two inches. Then you go to E area and add two inches for sewing allowance. Now, I'm going to connect this area now together. We are going to use our cuff ruler to achieve this. So, we are going to blend it here. Make sure it's very blend. Now the next thing right now is to connect the line together. Then I'll take it to the waistline. Then from the waistline, I'll take it to the hip line. I will bring the line up here. You remember we had one inches here for the slope. Then I'll mark 0 0.5 for the same allowance. I'm going to connect it with the neck width as well. So this will be for the same. This is how it will look like. If you are watching my video for the first time, uh, kindly welcome. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And for those that have already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now, we are going to cut. There's a video on how to cut off shoulder bust here as well. I will drop the link below. You can wash it as well now i will have to cut it i'll start from the neckline area now you take it to the shoulder slope don't forget about the same so you cut it You come back to the handball area. Now remember we said we made a new handball, so that's where you are going to cut. down to the hem area oh, 
come to the shoulder area. Now, this is it. So, this is the last one. I'm going to straight down the hip area now. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.